Hello. Let's see if I can pull it up. Pull it up. There we are. I know I'm a couple minutes early, and I did that purposely because so I can make sure we've had some internet problems. So I want to make sure I got everything going. So bear with while I check. There we are there. So I want to make sure I got turn that volume off. So how is everybody? There we go. So I'm posting this. So hold on. Hold on. So many things you got to do. So many things. Oops, wrong way. Paste. 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 Okay. So we're there. Yay. Okay. That's all. Now I'm going to turn my phone on. The iPad is just for my backup in case I can't get on the phone or anything. And so, like I said, bear with. I'm typing with, I burnt two fingers <laughs> kind of bad the other day doing, um, you know, that old hot glue thing. So, let's turn the volume down. And let's get it up here. Where am I? There I am. Yay, so I can see comments. Oh, I turned the volume. Let's get it up here. There we go. Woo! Hello, good evening, good evening, everybody. How are you? So, welcome to Nona's Nutty Crafts. Yay! Let me move the computer back here. There we go. Let me fix this. Now you can see me because when I have it there, I have to have it there. Time. <sighs> so, Welcome, welcome. Yay. Um, we've had horrible weather the last, like, this is week three. Today is the first day it has not done that rain work. So it's been crazy. Hi. Hi, my fellow friends. How are you all? So I'm going to flip screens here and I'm going to show you what we're going to make tonight. So, oh, where's my wreath face? So I have one of these wreath faces. It has 18. Um, <laughs> I was going to say tabs on them. Um, the twist ties, it's uh, not twist ties. Oh my God, help me out. My brain just froze. These things on it. <laughs> I just brain froze. Don't you hate that? Where your brain's like you can't figure out the name of the word. So it has 18. There's 10 on the outside, 8 in the middle. This is a frame that comes that way. Now let me just say, this kit, this is a kit transfer. This is a kit from Lori Jacobs. Um, it's her fall kit. Now I'm going to put my affiliate link right up here really quick there. That's the affiliate link. Um, I will be able to, um, I don't know if I can pin it from my phone. I don't think I can pin it, but that's my, I will put it in comments after. If you do want this kit, go there and get it. So this is her um, fall kit that she's doing um, on it. So let me go back so you can see what we're doing. So we have the frame. You get the frame. I got a roll of leopard ribbon. I got, she pre-cuts um, the amount that you need. I have this ribbon that was in there. Whoops, upside down. Isn't that pretty? I have some natural ribbon, two and a half inch, and some orange ribbon. And what she does, which is really kind of neat, if you get one of her kits or if you haven't, she gives you this list. And what she does, she gives you four ways that you can do this, you know, wreath kit. And I thought that was really kind of cool, you know, because um, I don't know if everybody does it, you know, in their wreath kits or not, but I, this is what Lori does in hers. And I thought that was really cool, you know, way to give you different options with what she gave you instead of saying, no, you can only do poofs or there's, a, you know, with it. Um, and this is going to be the sign that we're going to be doing today. Isn't that cool? With all that little leopard print and says, happy fall, y'all. So I thought that was really pretty. So in the kit, she tells you to cut your tails at 12 inches. So I paired these two up together. 
And then I have these two paired together, the orange, you know, with the pumpkins. So we're going to be doing this on every other one. The ruffles, I know you can't really see them yet. Here they are, right there. I have them all pre-cut. The ruffles are cut at 30 inches each. So I think it's, whoops, sorry to make you guys bounce. That's on a uh, gooseneck over there. So let's get this party going. So I have my little cheat sheet here because with the leftover ribbon, I wanted to make sure I had the right amount to do um, what size bow and everything I wanted to do. So we're going to move, hopefully, those over there. I usually don't have my ruffles on this side of me. Um, it's usually the other side. So what I've done here is this is the form one from Provo the Hand. And I have it divided in three sections. So just like the Bow Dabber or the Easy Bow Maker, it has the two, you know, um, oh, dowels like in there. So I have pre-cut all my ruffles. They're both colors are cut at 30 inches each. It's 10 inch mesh. And I just have them clipped to kind of hold them down. I clipped them twice just to kind of hold it down um, for it. So that way they were already cut. Woohoo! Woo me! So let's take these clips off and I, I switch baskets so I don't have that. So we're just going to do a simple ruffle. And what I'm doing here with my ruffle is I fold it in half. The two ends I fold it in half. Let me move this. Now I know this is all ruffle. I should have saved one. And then what I just do is crinkle it up. So the side that has the open edges here is what I'm going to put under, under the bottom. And then we're just going to go around and have some fun. And I'm going to, I'm, I'm not sure which way. I'm going to put them this way, I guess. We'll see. Oops. Now in the kit, with, the, with this mesh, she gives you full rolls. So it's not like here is part of a roll. It is a full roll. So keep that in mind. So whatever, you know, you have left out of the roll, which I think I have here. So out of the rolls, I still have some. So if I want to add anything, I still have some I can add to if I decide to do anything like that. So I preset my ruffles in my little holdy here, you know, to be every other one so I wouldn't mess up. Because you know you hate that you get talking or whatever. And then the next thing you know, you are you put two colors of the same together. Now I'll go back and I'm going to show you what I'll do with the ruffles. I just want to get them all laid. Because what I'll do here is just kind of pull these out like this. So they're kind of like bookends. So not one's laying on top of the other. I mean, you're going to have it there. So it just makes it more like a flower, you know, a poofy flower. Oops. Now, mind you, I burnt my fingers really bad. So everything is sticking to these. You ever try to, without using these two fingers, you know, you type with it? Oh, it kills you. It kills you. So let's get this baby going here. Look, we already got one rung of dowels already done. So if it's your first time watching anybody, hit anywhere on the screen up and up at the top, those three little white dots pop up and hit the one so you get notifications. So you know when I'm going live. And it would be cool. It'd be cool. All right, so look how pretty that looks already. Ooh, so pretty. All right, so I ended with an orange. When I did these, I didn't pay attention to how it was going to end or start. Oh, I'll just clip this off right now. Oops, there. Okay. So there we go. I didn't count them, so to speak. Oh, thank you. Yes, float my boat, you guys. What you can do when we say float my boat, bless my page. Look at this little pretty design I made for you all. And the subscribe one is for YouTube. So you can see some of my great things I have there. So if you don't mind doing that, that would be fabulous. Oh, Daytona Beach. Hello. Welcome, welcome. I'm up in Virginia. 
It's been hot up here. I'm sure it's even hotter down there. Okay, here we go. Doo -doo -doo. I'm going to just bring these up. And I could do an orange one here. This one, this one wants to come out. This orange one. So let me let me just move that one because it's messing them all up there. There we go. Here we go. I'm gonna skip one come over here so I can get back in sync with my colors. And we'll take that one out since that one. All right. And there we go. Look at how pretty the base. Now you could do this probably all in a natural color and then put the orange on top. You could do it however you want. It really becomes up to you. Ugh. I hate it when these bandages stick to everything. All right, so that's our first row. So what I'm gonna do is just take my, my little twist ties here and just point them down. So, because I have a tendency to grab the wrong one. And we'll start off with an orange one. And we'll just kind of go around in the circle here too. Here we go. Welcome. I see some of my, some new people. I see some of my other people that have always been here. Hello, hello. So, I'll tell you the story what I did with these yesterday. And as we all know, when hot glue hits your fingers and you try to pull it off. So I was doing a wreath and needless to say, I was hot gluing something and went to press down and stuck my fingers behind it and that's where the glue was why I don't know and let me just say it hurt and as much as you try to get it off it just like is crazy and then I was I had a little burn here these two fingers here you know just got a little singe we'll use that word they didn't blister but this one literally there's a hole in the bucket, dear Liza, as they say. So, yeah, ouch is not the words I was using at the time. I'll just say that. And then I quickly ran and I got a baggie and I put um, ice and cold water in it and sat like with that, I don't know, seemed like forever to me, to numb the pain. <laughs> and then once it numbed enough... I mean, it didn't go away for hours later, the stinging. Ooh, I think my bandage is coming off. Um, I then uh, went ahead and just held my hand up and eventually put some, you know, ointment on it and the bandage. So it, it, it was an ouchie, that's for sure. And, you know, it's that silly thing. I have all the little happy fingers, I call them, my little silicone fingers to use. And I didn't put it on. It was the last piece I was gluing on. I was like, oh, no, I'll just say it would be quick. I'll be okay, you know. Oh, lesson learned. Lesson learned. So here we go. Look how pretty that looks. Isn't that pretty? Let me turn my fan on. It gets hot underneath all the lights. So that's our... Our centerpiece, our, our base. Now the next thing, now what I did, this is a metal sign. Different ways you can do this. You can punch holes in it if you have like one of those jewelry hole puncher things, which I don't have. I am going to get one though. Or you can use, now I use Gorilla Glue. This is a peel and stick, the um, cable mounts and that. I was I should have waited because I was like, I don't know if I want to put it at the bottom, put it in the middle. Off to the side. I don't know. I have to stand up because I have to see. I guess what I'll do because it's going to determine my bow. I think I'm going to kind of what I'm going to call it off to the side and then put the bow over here and kind of hang down. I had some tails with it. I think that's what I'll do. Made up my mind. 
made up my mind, but we got to put, not tails, we got to put the bow with the tails. So look, I got all my tails cut. These are 12 inches long. So just to let you know, in case y'all are just tuning in, it's the pumpkin with leopard, oops, leopard cheetah. I can never tell. Isn't one of the spots more rounded? Isn't that the difference between them, I think? I think that's the difference. So I don't want to do that one in orange. Or do I? No, because this has the orange. See, that's the other thing. you got to decide how you're going to do your tails. So because I have an orange base, I didn't want to put the orange ribbon in that one. And then spread them out if you want them on an angle, how you want them to be. Oops, my cheat sheet out of there with my sizes. And I'll show you once I get this one in, I can show you what it looks like. It's going to be pretty, 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 pretty. So what is everybody doing? Is everybody crafting? Everybody actually getting ready to do craft shows this year? I am. I'm excited. Some people like are happy. Now, I was happy doing some virtuals. Don't get me wrong. I did it last year, but I'm excited. You know, I miss, you know, being pe with people and chatting with them and stuff. I miss that kind of thing. Not that I want to risk my life or anything, but you know, I do miss some of that. All right. So that's what, now again, these are cut at 12 inches because that's what was the recommendation. There we, what happened? This one. Oh. Now you can do them where they're opposites, or you can do them where the tails are kind of leaning over, like this one, like that. It's up to you. I did opposites. Oh, now I curled up that one. I did opposites on this one. Why? Who knows? I do like it when they lean on top of each other like that, though. I don't know. That's my favorite because I don't want it to cover up this one. This one would be okay if they lay on top of each other, but I don't want it to cut up, cover up that beautiful pattern on that print. Let's go the other way. Here we go. Oh, thank you for all the hearts. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Oh, thank you. I, I think it's going to be really pretty. I really do. Um, it, and here's a story for me with leopard print or animal print, I guess. I wasn't a big animal print person. And the thing, let me see if I could do this because I like talking to y'all at the same time. I wasn't a big animal print person. And um, a friend, you know, went ahead and said, hey, Oh, now look, I got my pumpkins going in two different directions. <gasps> Not a good idea. Let's get them all going the same direction. And that's another thing you have to watch. <laughs> oh, why did I have one pumpkin that went the wrong way? And see what I mean by the pumpkins? See these guys? The stem is here and bottom's there. This one I did it the opposite way. So you're going to make sure you do them all the same direction. So let's just twist this one around. There we go. So, okay, so back to my story. So I wasn't in, you know, print. I was like, a leopard? Who's going to buy leopard, you know? So last year I said, okay, I'm going to make, I'll make a wreath. See what happens. The wreath sold like in a week. And this isn't to breath, right? This is not what this is about. And so I was like, oh, okay. So I said, well, you know, I had enough to make a second wreath. So I went ahead and made a second wreath, you know, with it, um, the materials. Well, that one sold. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, I couldn't make a third one because <laughs> I couldn't get the materials anymore. So I said, okay. So this year I said, okay, let me see if I can get the materials. So I made one, sold already. So I said, okay, I'm going to get enough to make two more <laughs> and do it again. <laughs> and it's just a base. It's like, you know, with 
uh, well, I did it on, I do it on grapevine, and I have the leopard ribbon in there with some a spray. It's very simple. It's something you can actually keep up all year round. So I got to make another one to post up there. <laughs> um, but I just thought, here I am, the one who doesn't, I wasn't a leopard fan now, finding myself doing all these things with the pattern in it and getting all kinds of, I don't know if you could see, really behind me, whoops, opposite way of the camera, right here, I have like pink leopard, the brown leopard, I have silver, I have metallic leopard, I went all out on my leopard prints, I really did, and I've come to enjoy them. And it's fun. It gives it some character. Now, back in my day, who thought about putting leopard on a pumpkin or doing buffalo check or changing the color of it just being orange and now doing teal pumpkins, the ivy pumpkin, you know, all different colored pumpkins. Who knew? And it just makes it more fun, more colorful for everybody. It really does. Now, I guess I don't think I told you what I did with these. So, like I said, they were cut at 12 inches. Lay them on top. And what I do, I fold them in half. And so you can see I have a little crease there because I, I fold it in half and I go like that. And then what I do when I open it is I'm just doing like a fan method. But I always try to make sure. Whoops. Oh, of course, I'm trying to do it. I can't do it. <laughs> um, is that the edges... Are curled down instead of up because if it curls up when you put your bow in it your bow kind of your tail rather it kind of curls up so I always try to make sure that it curls down hello oh it's okay if it doesn't matter we're still here we're not going anywhere we're not going anywhere not yet anyway you know so oh there goes my I gotta come up with better <laughs> Kind of band-aids that don't stick to deco mesh. Let me just say. Okay. All right. So another pumpkin. This is pretty colors. Hmm. Anybody got ideas? I think I have more ideas because I got a whole roll now. Not a whole roll, but that I could use as well for other ones. All right. I really like this. This is pretty. And you know what? It blends in, but it still actually pops on it. Does that make sense? And that's why I said with this one, see like this one has the orange in the back and I put both the tan ones, whereas this one has the tan, you know, ruffle and I put so that you could see the orange and all out of the um, ribbons more. I do too. You know what? Here's the thing. I love spring. Okay. Everybody likes, everybody loves summer because spring and summer because all the snow is gone. If you live in places where there's snow, like I do. Um, and I love spring because it has all the pretty like purples and yellows, right? At least that's what I have a lot in my garden. I have tiger lilies. I don't even know half the name. We have these one plants that come up. They basically don't even die during the winter. Um, and they just, they only grow about yay high. I don't know, maybe two feet high if that. And they have like, it looks like almost palm leaves. <laughs> and they grow these little flowers that hang out and look like little bells. And um, it's a really pretty plant and it's great in our backyard because some of our area doesn't get a lot of sun. So we planted a bunch and we just let the babies when, you know, thing go, just go wild. And it's a great ground covering because you don't have to weed. <laughs> and um, I love it. I don't know the name of the plant. Yes. And like I said to everybody, um, this is, you know, if this is a wreath kit that came from hardworking mom. So that's my affiliate link. So if you do want to order, whether it be this kit or another kit or any ribbon or anything, she, you know, listen, she doesn't make her prices go out insanely on you. She has good prices on her stuff. I mean, seriously. Um, so check out, you know, her website and, you know, if you need some great stuff, she has, um, I say equipment, uh, what is the word, you know, scissors and stuff like that, you know, as well. So she has all kinds of goodies in there, signs, um, 
mesh, ribbons, <laughs> you name it. She's pretty much got it. And I'm actually going to her wreath retreat, which is in, where are we? We're in the month of August. It's in September. So it's my first time going to one of her wreath retreats. And it's going to be in um, North Carolina. Oops, my tie came undone here. There we go. And I'm really excited about that. I really am. It's only like 50 people, but it's perfect. So we get to dress up in 80s. We're going to do one night. Everybody gets to dress up in 80s costumes. So I don't know what I'm going to be yet. Oh, are you going? Yay! Well, then we'll get to meet. Yay! I love meeting new people because you know what? It's just fun. It's fun. So, yeah. Ooh. Okay. Let's get this one in there. Nope, make sure my pumpkins go. And what I do, I usually, before I do the second row, I'll go, I usually go back and make sure I've had, you know, because like even words or trucks, when you use ribbon like that, you're always not paying attention. You got a truck going the other way from all the others. So I just make sure all my pumpkins are going the right way. And they are. Yay. Yay me. <laughs> Now, I probably, based on where I'm going to put the sign, you don't really, sometimes when you cover with the sign, you don't have to have the tails underneath, but that's okay. I'm excited to. I'm excited to. Um, but I'm going to leave the tails under. It's a small sign, like, and I think the tails may help just, you know, keep it looking pretty. So we're going to keep those. We're going to put the leave the tails underneath it. But sometimes when you have a bigger sign, you can get away with it, especially if you're short on ribbon, you know, you can get away with maybe not putting the tail underneath. I've done that on some bigger signs and it just covers the whole thing. And you're like, well, why put tails and waste the ribbon when, you know, it could look pretty the other way. Now I'm going to leave one whole. I think I, I think I may have cut one short on these. Because I always try to do that because I am notorious for cutting too many tails and then having, you know, tails left over. So I think I cut one short on this because we're going to put a bow on here. Oh, come on, Ruben. Here we go. Look at that cute little wreath, y'all. Cute. All right, you don't want to hear me sing. Hi. Hello, my friends. Did you guys all see my little shopping trip? Though, what was it on Saturday, Friday, Saturday at Hobby Lobby? Mm. After I went with my, my granddaughter was helping out that one. I had to bribe her. She had to buy, had to buy her a little something, you know, because she was so good for that whole hour. And um, we went out to eat afterwards. I let her pick the place for lunch. And then... You know, went her house, hung out with her for a while, and then I went to the at-home store, thinking, "Oh, I'll pick up some Halloween." They had like nothing, nothing. They were actually getting geared or ready to put their Christmas stuff out. A lot of the aisles were empty, and I was like, "Whoops!" Almost did that pumpkin upside down. Um, and I was just like, "Oh, okay. Well, hmm. I did get a couple. I got some Christmas ball, um, Christmas balls in Halloween colors, but like their Halloween stuff is like gone." And I was like, wow. So, and you know how the stores used to be? You never put any Christmas out to after, back in my day, till after Thanksgiving. It's already out. Everybody's putting it out. So if you're not a good, a good person that crafts, you know, that knows, a good crafter that knows like, hey, I better get it now because it's not going to be there tomorrow. You may want to take advantage of that. I think I cut all the tails. All right, so we're going to put all the tails on. Since I did that, that's okay. It'll make it look pretty. Now you can take these and cut these and fold them down and what, but these ones, when they're attached like the frame like this, I like to leave them. Now sometimes you can put those little styrofoam, um, the little balls on them if you want to as well. Like I have some orange ones, which probably look pretty with this. 
and I have some bronze ones so I could alternate it, but I don't think I'm going to put it on there. I think I'm going to leave them the way they are. So we're almost done with this one. My dogs was bugging me because I finished dinner and I came up here trying to get ready. I cut all this stuff. I was going to go live with you all yesterday. But what happened was we had that hurricane that came up the coast was, um, we're kind of, we didn't get it. It turned into a tropical storm. But um, we get the outskirts with all the rain and thunderstorms and stuff were happening. So yesterday my... It was lightning and everything, so I couldn't go live yesterday with y'all to do this, which is when I wanted to do it. But I was like, okay, we're going to do this today. And I was having issues a couple of hours before I came on with the internet. I couldn't get on my iPhone or my computer was hamster wheeling, and I thought, oh no, don't do it now. Seems like I could. Yes, already, really. I did go to Sam's that day, as we speak. The, after we did lunch, that's right. We went to the Costco. We went. I went to Costco, and I did pick up some ribbons there. Not a lot because I have a lot. Can you tell? And I was just like, there were a few I liked, and I did because, like you know, if you want a solid gold, and you sometimes that's a hard one to get. And so I did pick up one of those, and they had some really beautiful. Um, it was a navy blue. I'll show it all. Oh, let me show it. They're right here. This is what I picked up. All right. So let me just switch to the front camera because it'll be easier. Whoops. Let me do that. So this is from Costco. This is a, I know it's going to be hard to see. Where's the camera? It's gold. And then I picked up this like plaid. Christmas. Where's the camera? That way. I gotta think it's opposite. <laughs> and then they had this, oops, red and white. I thought that was pretty. It kind of reminds me of Lattice on that one. And then this one I really thought was pretty. This is navy blue and it has bells. So that's why I picked up the gold one to go with that. And then this is like, like a royal blue. And I do police bows and some of the military bows, or, you know, wreaths and stuff. So that was um, good for me to have those that blue because sometimes that's hard to find too so that's was at Costco they had maybe I don't know maybe 18 different types I think it was but a lot of them already had you know I had so much I didn't need anything more all right so let's do our bow and then we can place our sign so let's put that down there and I measured everything out. <laughs> and hopefully it'll work. I'm just going to put these over here for right now. And let me switch it back so you guys can see. My little cheat sheet because I pre-measured everything out so that I would have it. So on my bottom base I'm going to do the natural color. Then I'm going to put the pumpkin. Then I'm going to put the orange, and then I'm going to finish it off with the leopard that way. So that's my that's my color wheel. All right. So what I did because this was all that I had left over from the kit, so I wanted to I pre like I said I pre measured it out just so that I can make sure I had enough on tails or what size bow I had to make. So let me see if I can move this camera in a little bit closer so you can see. Let me move the wreath. It's going to jiggle. And let me angle it down a little bit. See if that'll work for you. I just got to remember to stay in frame. <laughs> I have that tendency to go out of frame. All right. So on this one here, the natural, I'm going to do a 13 inch tail. So this is the four in one from the Pro Bow the Hand. Um, actually, I should turn it around this way because the numbers are facing me. Um, she has this measured every inch and she put big numbers. And on this side, she does it every two inches on this side. 
she has the single holes and she has the double holes so you know like you can use it like the um the bodabber or like the um easy bow maker so this one i did 13 inch two um tails now this is only has up to nine inches here so i'm just going to measure it on here on my board so that i have my length and my tail just because it's longer than here now i could add i could add numbers and stuff here if i want to but i'm not now this ribbon i don't really have to do i well, you can. It'd, be, it'd probably be better if you turn it. So I turned it halfway um, around. And on this one, I'm going to do a six inch loop. I'm only going to do one because I didn't have enough to do two. All right. So I measured it out to the six, six inches. There's six inches on this side too. Did you guys ever, do you guys ever notice how sometimes one loop is longer than the other, even though you may have it set up this way? I always do that. I don't know. It's the ones on my right side seem to be longer than the other side sometimes. It's a crazy thing. All right, so I'm going to cut these off to be about even. So that's all I really have left of the kit. Now I can save this because if I have this ribbon and I need a tail for one other one, that's why I like to save the little remnants like that. So my next one is going to be my pumpkins. Now, oh, I forgot this goes up and down. Okay, so hold on. So on my pumpkin tail, it's going to be 11 inches. So this only again goes up to 9. So I forgot that this has up and down pumpkins. It doesn't matter in the bow part, but in the tail part, it's I have to have my pumpkins facing up. Now in this one, I'm going to do 5 inch loops on this one. So I'm going to have this brown one or the tan one's going to sit in the middle of the two pumpkin ones. Oops, just whack myself in the head. <laughs> Burn my fingers and whack myself in the head. <laughs> and that's all I'm doing. And then I'll show you what's going to happen when we get down to the last loop because I want my pumpkin tail to be facing the same way. So see, my one tail is longer. Oops, can't see because I'm out of frame. Um, one tail is longer. Okay. So what I'm going to do, because I want these tails, I don't want these pumpkins, you know, these being facing up and these down. So what I'm going to do, I am going to cut this one here. I'm going to leave, a, you know, about an inch. And I'm going to flip this up. And what I'm going to do, because I don't want that this one piece, other piece on the top, I'm just going to lift up my bow, just, just like that, and stick this one underneath here. So it just sticks out, just a little bit of a tail there, and then just put my bow back on top. So then I have my two tails. See how easy that was? Now, I will tell you normally what I do when I have these little tail pieces out like this, I will go ahead and I open it up and I will hot glue it to the other ribbon. I'll cut it down and hot glue it so you don't see this piece flapping. I'm not going to do that tonight only because I burned my fingers, but I will go back and do it um, before this wreath is even posted to be sold or anything. So I'm just letting you guys know that. Oh, newbie! Yay! Welcome, welcome, my newbie! Hey, and if you don't know, hit anywhere on the page, those three little white dots pop up and hit the one so you can get notifications on it. So you know when I go live. Well, welcome. I love having new people. I love having people that have been here for a while, too. I love having people, period. All right, so I'll cut this off later when we get to it. So that ends that piece. So next is going to be my orange. Now I measured my orange, my tails on this, it didn't matter. So, um, because I have a lot of this, this is just, ex, you know, came with the kit, um, but I had so much of it, so it didn't matter how long my tails were gonna be, you know, on this, so I left it as whatever. And I think I'm gonna like kind of curl these up. So I'm gonna make these a little bit longer than these and I just kind of measure out going, oh, that looks good. So on this one here, we're gonna do 
four loops here. We're going to do this at three inches. Oops, come down here, tail. Oh, and I put, did I get, I thought I got a pipe cleaner out. Okay, maybe not. And we'll just go around and make a bow here. Yes! Oh, you need some help. What do you need help with? Making bows? Well, sissy, you're right. You're right in the right place. We're making some bows now. This is on the pro bow, the hand. This is on the four and one. I do have, you know, the easy bow maker. I have all kinds of um, bow machines. So all I'm doing here, I'm measuring on, on here, it has three inches. So when you do a bow and you say, oh, you know, if you're doing a custom or whatever, what size bow do you want? And I just realized that would look like it was upside down, the ribbon. So I'm going to flip it. I saw a wire piece. Um, you can ask them how much. Now you want to do diameter here. Because if you say three inches, this is three inches, you know, on one side. So it's three inches loops and three inch loops. So your bow actually winds up being six inches, you know, with the three inch loops. And that was something, you know, when I first started, I was like, oh, who knew? Hmm. Who knew? Yeah. So, and I'm just going ahead and I'm measuring and using my finger on that side. This side I do the same thing because I don't want it, if I leave it like that, what happens, my loops don't become even. So I always try and I always do it. I always have one side that has a little bit longer. I try to stick my finger in there to kind of pull it in a sense so that I know it's the right size. So this one we're going to do three loops. Oh, excuse me. Wait, orange. No, yeah, three loops. Because I did one on the bottom. I did two and I'm going to do three so that when I finish with the three I can do two loops on each side of the leopard. I wanted that one to be of course on top because that's what this is all about. So then you just take your tails and you cut them. And see, I still have more ribbon left over. I love this color. It's a pretty color. Now we're going to take the leopard ribbon. Now because this one I have on a spool, I can go ahead and stick it on my spool holder here. So I don't, now people do their bows different ways. I like to, I'll pull them out and separate them like this, but I don't necessarily fluff it all up because I'm going to kind of smush it when I put all the, you know, whether it's a zip tie or a Chanel Steno wire on it. Okay, but I will spread it out to make sure that I'm, you know, it looks, it looks nice. All right, so we got that done. So let's take our leopard. And we'll just go down whatever length. Let's see. I'll measure it so you kind of know if you're interested. This is um, about a 15 inch length. 15 inch length. Now, the longer you go in curling it, the curl will hang down more like a banana curl, as we used to say back in the day. Um, so keep that in mind. All right. So we did six, five, four, and this is going to be three. Six, five, four, three. Excuse me. Yes, yeah, six, five. Yeah. Oh, this is actually a two because I what I did here, usually I go an inch in, but I took this one in two inches so that you can really see this bow here, this ribbon. And I'm just going to do two loops on each side. This is about two inches on each side. Oh, thank you. Hey, that's a collection. <laughs> if you're talking about that, that's a collection. <laughs> but yes, this is pretty. And um, since you did, anybody that's just come on, again, this is um, hardworking mom's wreath kit that I have gotten. And again, anything from her. If you want to use this affiliate link, 
and and just you can go www probably and hardworkingmomstore.com but this is the most important part you put the question mark AFF equals 84 so um, that way you will go ahead and get um, get that oh thank you for sailing my boat <laughs> thank you <laughs> all right so I'm just going to cut this off here and then we have our bow and then we can decide where we're going to put our wreath another wreath or sign oh my gosh Carolyn get your words together now you can zip tie this down and then you can take oh maybe I'll do that and use this extra piece of ribbon so you can see that this happens to be a very long one <laughs> which is okay I bought long ones by silly me the one time so I'm just sliding it underneath all the ribbon and this I love the long ones because it's easier on these um, I do have 8 inch I have 6 inch and 4 inch but these the long ones this is like I think 11 inches it's so easy so and I'm just gonna zip tie it down a little bit don't pull it all the way tight stick my fingers behind it so I have two fingers like this my thumb is on top I'm going to roll it around so that's in between my two fingers. So let me move this out of the way. And then from there, I'm going to take a pipe cleaner because we have to have some way to attach it to the wreath. And I'm just, now you can put your pipe cleaner down before you ribbon too. I'm not a person that likes that because I always get it stuck somewhere. So, and then from here, I'm going to go ahead and start pulling my um, pulling it tighter. I will press down with my thumb as well on doing this and I just keep doing it till it's as tight as it is. Um, now before you pull it really tight you can go back and make sure all your ribbon is tails are down where you want them to be. See my bow's flat because this is how I roll. <laughs> I flatten my bow. Um, God I need that finger but the band-aid's in there. And I'll just go ahead and just take my fingers and just kind of pull it out. Now, if your ribbon is really stiff and you want it to stand up more this way than lay flat, all you have to do is take it and kind of twist it like that. And what that does, see how that's already standing up like that? See the difference between this side and this side's laying flatter? And all I'm doing is breaking you know because the ribbon is stiff and I'm kind of breaking it a little bit to make it more pliable and see how those are already standing up see the difference here now I'm gonna cut the zip tie in a minute and then I'll do that with all of them and it again it just depends how thick the ribbon is or how stiff it is and do it so it all stands stands up because that's what you want it you want it to stand up you don't want it to lay flat now, if you want it to be more out and flat, you don't have to make it as, you know, put the, the loop as that. You can just pull it out that way if you want to do that. So it's really up to you. It's your creation. All right. Oh, I need my index finger. Okay. So we're just going to leave the bow, whoops, like where are we camera like that for right now so let me go ahead and we're going to cut off the back here the zip tie from the back and now here's what I'm going to do with this piece now you can leave the wire in you can do it where you cut this like down the middle if you want to you can leave it with it's like this and you just fold it to whatever width you want because that's what we're going to do. I'm going to cut this one since I already started to show you because I'll show you how you do it on the cutted, the cutted, the cut side of it. Now what I like to do too is take out the wire here um, just because it makes it easier to fold the ribbon. I need my index finger on that hand. <laughs> as far as that goes. I'm not frozen, am I? There we go. Okay. Looked like I was frozen there for a minute. 
All right, so what I do here is, oh, my watch. My watch is coming off. Hold on a sec. There we go. Get on there. The wrong side of your ribbon, I'm going to take it and fold it in, and then fold it in again. So that the side that's sewed is on the top. And I'm going to take that and put that in the middle of my ribbon. And you could pick whatever color. If you want to do the orange or whatever color you want to. And this covers the zip tie. I'm just using this piece since it was the last piece here. Oh, thank you for the hearts. Thank you. I love hearts. We love hearts. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate those. I appreciate it, my friends. I surely do. So then our we have our pipe cleaner out on the side. So see, my ribbon gets always smushed. So that's why I always wait till I put it on my wreath um, to fluff it out. Because I'm one of those horrible people that, that goes ahead and smushes everything. All right. So I'm going to stand up. So I'm going to take me off and just put you on the side camera here just because I'm going to be standing up. And I'm going to move this back a little bit again. So hold on. And I'll re-angle it for you. There we go. So again, usually I leave a spot here. Is that still too close? Hold on, y'all. Hold on. You get to see all the mess in there in the shop. Stay camera. <laughs> In one screen it looks good. When it's tight like this it looks close. On the other screen it's a little further away on the split screen. Um, usually I'll leave a spot where I so that way I can put the bow. Um, but because I already had already cut it I'm just leaving it in there. So on these, I go ahead and I will um, twist tie these up a little bit to make sure that it is tied all the way and not all the way up to the top because I want these to still look separated. But I want to make sure that I have them all tied down here so that they don't untie on the person um, that gets the wreath. And this one will be for sale. Um, if you want to message me that you want it, um, I didn't post anything on, it, on my Etsy page or anything yet on it. But if you're interested, tell me you would like it. And I'll be more than happy to get it out to you. If you pay tonight, out tomorrow. So even here, what I like to do is just twist it once or twice in the back just to hold the pipe cleaner where I want it to be. Now, oh, that's going to look so pretty. I'm going to do this. Whoops, got to come your way. See, I want my tails, and I think I'm going to do the sign, like off to the side. I think just like that. Listen, I'm going to switch you back because this one's a little further away so you can see better. I think I'm going to do it like that. I debated if I was going to put this on an angle, which I could. I could do it straight across. You guys help me out. So the bow isn't going to hang, it's not going to be here. So it will be up what we would consider the corner, even though there's no corner here, um, on a bow, on a circle. Um, so if I do that, so you guys get the bow. The sign, we're going to do this. We'll do thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up if you want the sign to go straight across. Or if you want the sign like on a little bit of an angle, will be hearts. Hearts is for the angle. Straight across is the thumbs up sign. And what I can do is just kind of ballpark it on here and see what you guys like. So while you guys do that, I'm going to attach the bow up here. I see some hearts. I see thumbs up too. Oh, thumbs up is winning. I'm going to curl this one down just because the bow. Ooh, 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 it looks like it's going to be a thumbs up. Now I forgot which one I said was which. <laughs> thumbs up. 
Thumbs up wins. All right. So the reason why I'm turning this down because I don't want this to stick through, stick into the ribbon here. So I'm going to kind of straddle. See if I can do it here. See, I, there's no way for you to really see. Oh, maybe. So I just curled this down, this one here, and I'm going to take my pipe cleaner and kind of just straddle those tails because I'll still pull them out to see on the other end. So I'm going to straddle this. I'm going to pull it through. Hold on. And I'm going to flip this over just so you can see what I'm doing. This has three rails here. So I'm going to, I can use one rail or two rails. I'm going to use the two rails. And I'm just going to pull it and just twist, twi twist tie it enough just to kind of hold the bow in place. Gosh, I couldn't get my, my words out. Now I'm going to pull those tails that were underneath it. I'm just going to pull them down so that they'll be seen. And then this is when I decide, whoops, that goes in the middle. And just kind of pull my bow out here just to kind of get an idea. And we're kind of going to cut the tails. Don't worry about that. We'll do that of how I like how everything is looking. you thank you thank you appreciate that appreciate all the loves all right so now with these because I want to curl these so if I cut it in the dovetail like the ups down upside down V it if you try to curl it those little points coming out just doesn't work so let me I'm just gonna cut these on an angle And the way the angle goes on these is so when you hold them together, it like forms like an upside down triangle, so to speak, or an upside down V, if you want to call it that. And I'm going to curl this up. I need that index forget. And I'm just going to curl them up all the way right now because I want to get them out of the way a little bit. So I can get the next ones down. The next ones down. Let's see, I was off on the length on that one. Big time. Oops. Get that. And, oops. Kind of measure them out to be about the same. And I'm going to do the same thing with these. Just give them a little curl. Need a little curl every now and then. Now with the two inch ones, they're really kind of hard to curl. They don't really do well, the little ones, the one and a half inch do. So I'm just going to cut these ones in the dovetail. And the same with this one, the natural one that was underneath. Oops. I'm trying to get all my my piece is over here because my garbage pail is over there. <laughs> that way I can throw them away all together and then trying to reach the garbage pail and still miss it. Oh, one's on the floor anyway. But they fly wherever they want to go. All right. So curled up. And then what you can do with these, you can just see how that starts curling like that instead of laying flat like this one. And you can just do that with these longer ones. And it just, there's a, it has wire in it, so don't be afraid. So before I do the rest of the bow, let's sign. Now what did, I, what did we say? Thumbs up one. Was thumbs up a square and then angled was hearts or was it vice versa? I forgot what I said. Y'all tell me, because thumbs up one. <laughs> Y'all remember? <laughs> That's my short-term memory. Who remembers? Who remembers? Not me. Oh, here's a piece of the tail. 
Oh, yeah. Laugh away. <laughs> I think I'll do it. I forgot what I said, y'all. Let me get these sticks out of the way. Before I had to go rolling off the floor. I'm going to do it angled in. Is that what we said it was going to be for the thumbs up? I think the angled in. If I do it straight out, it kind of looks... We'll do it just a little bit of an angle in. Since I forgot. Sorry, you guys. You know, as they say, I have a lot on my mind, and it just overflows out sometimes, you know? Thank you. All right, so I'm just going to pull these ones out. So there's my tail, and we're going to angle it like this. So this tail is going to be underneath a lot, so I'm going to pull both of these ribbons down this way. And since my sign's going to be here, yes, angled, thank you. <laughs> you know, I used to say senior moments, but then I was just like, well, it's not really senior. I mean, I guess I am a senior because, you know, I'm over 60. And, um, but I don't want to say senior moments. I want to say something else. So I just say my brain is just overflowing with a lot of things going on. All right. So I pulled those tails out there so that we can see them. And we're going to put the sign in here. Now I use four tabs. I might have been able to get away with less, but I did four on it. So we're going to do that. <laughs> I know. Do you ever, did you guys ever walk? Like you say, oh, I got to go get this. And you walk and you'll go up the stairs in the room and you stand there and going, now what did I want to get? Hmm. And then you got to bracket on your brain and then, oh yeah, I needed to go get that. You know, I've done that. I don't know. So now when you put these on, you want to take diagonal. Because if you try to pull the bottom, then the top's going to shift on you. So you want to take your um, pipe cleaners on an angle. Whichever two you want to do, it doesn't matter. Um, and you're going to stick it through the mesh on this particular one. Sometimes if you're in between the, um, the ruffles, you can just stick it through the ruffles. Actually, I think I can, might be able to do that. So that way, I don't mess up the ruffle and put a hole in it. Yes. Every day. <laughs> I know. Every day I do the same thing. Oh, that's a top one. Yeah. Um, every day I do it. And my husband will do the same thing. I said, what's wrong with you, dear? Because I forgot what I was doing or what I came in here for. And I went, oh, welcome to my world. Now, if this was more compact, I could have had the pipe cleaners, you know, two pipe cleaners and twist it. But this is a little bit more of a fluffier wreath. So what I'm going to do is just wrap the pipe cleaner around this just enough to give me, make it tight that it's on there right now. Not super tight yet, so that way I can set everything. So I tighten this one. I'm going to go down and do this one down here. Same thing. Some people don't like to flip it over back and forth, um, the wreath, but I'm one of those flippers. Sorry, I'm just a flipper. I'm just a flipper so I can see what I'm doing. All right, so, so far what it's going to look like, here's the bow and here's my sign. So I've, I've done these two. And that, see? What happened? It angled out that way. I need it to angle the other way. So this one needs to move up. Go up here and angle, not down there. Oh, I did it backwards. Silly me.
me take this one out. Hold on. I angled it backwards, upside down and backwards. <laughs> All right, so I want it to go, I don't want it to face out. I want it to face this way. And what I did, I angled it the wrong way. All right, so now we got that one right where we want it. Oops, get in there. All right. And now let's just take this one. And do it right there. What I think I did, I pulled this one down is what I did instead of pulling it more up too. And it just flipped it. Oh well. Easy mistake. Easy, easy peasy. So now we'll pull this one. And we'll, whoops. Not pull. I want to make sure my tails are going to be seen. So we're going to angle this one down here. See if I got it on the right angle there, the right place, and then we'll bring this one up. goes up here. There we go. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's all the band-aids fault. You, you just don't really, I'm trying to use this one and this one, the, it's something more on the side, but still, I don't want to get any glitter in there. All right, so now let me take my ribbons out my ruffles out and let me see where they all are because I want them to be seen and I like I like to do is let me pull this ruffle out here is I'll bring the ribbon like even up and over the sign just to give it some, oops, goes opposite. You know, kind of, I don't know, kind of hover covers the sign a little bit. Does that make sense? All right. Now look at my bow. See, this is why I don't curl my bow or anything because I'm one of those flippers. I'm a flipper, you all. All right. Where's all these tails? I got those out before. So let's get our bow going here. And as I do it, I'll do my tails too. Since I messed up my tails. This going here. Thank you. I try. I try to make something look pretty. I try. All right, so since I really messed these up bad, <laughs> I really did. You may not be able to tell, but I know I messed them up bad. They got it all flattened there. Curl them up, get them out of the way. Let me fix the tails. Go. And you open over. There we go. Where's this tail? 
This one really got hidden down there. And when you do your tails like on the sides here, do it on the sides, not on top of the wreath. Because when you hang it up on the door, you don't want to be seeing like nothing on the sides of your wreath. I mean, you know, whatever, whatever style wreath you're doing, always make that a point to make it look nice from the sides. Not, you know, um, just from the top. Because even with grapevines, when I do it, I'll do, you know, everything on the front. And then I'll tilt it and I'll be like, oh, I need to do all around like the edging. Um, so keep that in mind too when you're doing your reads. Oh, thank you. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate those nice words. It's a really pretty wreath. This is a wreath kit I got from Lori Jacobs and Hardworking Mom group. Um, I actually, I, I, you know, I'm, I try to build my business, you know, like everybody else, try to make it nice, try to make it where people like what I make and stuff. And um, so I was working hard in the business group and I want a whole box, guys, a whole box. It's like 22 by six, 22 by six inches thick of ribbon. I was like, holy guacamole. All right. So now what I said before, we're going to take this and you can just give it a little curl like that just to give it some dimension on the bottom ribbons, angle them out, whatever you want to do. Now with these guys, I don't pull, like when you have the pointy side down here, I don't pull that side. I pull from the inside. And what I'm finding when I, if I pull from the pointy side, it kind of curls it out almost like a man's mustache. <laughs> and I want it to curl in. <laughs> and I know that it seems like the silliest thing, but it was just something I've noticed on this when I do my curls. I like to pull them from the inside. This one got a little flattened. And we'll see how this baby looks. Oops, come on. Now you know how we do these. We, we'll be here all day long doing the bow, fluffing and stuffing and rearranging things on our wreaths for like ever. Now if you don't want the ruffle showing because it has the words you can you know tuck it underneath if you want to. I just want a little bit of that ruffles peeking out on top there. All right so let me switch to just my front camera so that way you can see the entire thing and I hold it up. Hopefully all my tails look good see if I can do this. I got to look at the sign to see which way I have it. Is that right? Right? Let's pull that bow this way. I don't go this way, Carolyn. This way. <laughs> Let me look through the wreath. This way. Whoops, this way. <laughs> the camera is, it, everything's backwards. So, let me turn off that ring light so you don't get the glare on it because I see it glaring on the sign. So hold on a minute. This way. <laughs> so see, it's a cute little wreath. This way. This way. I keep saying this way. Oh, got to go this way. So see, it's really pretty. And all the colors are in there from the sign and the pretty bow. Ta -da! You don't get to see me, but you get to see the wreath. <laughs> so, uh, you know, see what it is on the camera here on the computer. There's one little square, and that's what I keep focusing. But the camera light is off to the left or my to the side of that. So that's why I keep shifting here, thinking I'm centered, but I need to go centered. The <laughs> it's just weird. So that's our wreath for today. I think it came out cute. That way. Wait, more that way. <laughs> I'm trying to angle it the way it's supposed to be angled. There we go. That way. There we go. Is that right? I don't know. I can't see. <laughs> but anyway, so that's our read for today, you guys. Thank you. <laughs> so thank you for the comments. So again, 
If you want any of the pieces that are from this um, or you want to shop, please go to this, aff this affiliate link right here, Hard Work and Mom. That's where I got this kit from, but she has a lot of beautiful stuff in there. So ribbons and wreaths, um, supplies and all. Um, so go there and check that out. If you, you know, if you need some goodies, I'm just saying, if you need some goodies. And then, if you wouldn't mind doing those, I would greatly appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Thank you for all those, the thumbs up and the hearts. Thank you, guys. We're like, I don't even know. I should look. We were like 4,999 people um, on my page. And I was literally have been trying to hit that 5,000 mark. And it's still, it's like, oh wait, there's one person that wants to be a friend. So we'll invite that person. Because when we hit 5,000, guys, you're going to be, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. So, um, I just want to say thank you all for joining me tonight at Nona's Nutty Crafts. And I can't wait to do another live with you guys again. All right. So you guys have a nice night and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.